In this video, we're going to learn how to create animations. So we're going to be applying this um, to the Facebook div. So first of all, we need an animation property. So the syntax is animation. So this is the standard uh, syntax. It won't work with uh, all browsers. And then we need two parameters here. First one is going to be the name of the animation that we'll be uh, creating uh, later on. So let's call it my animation. And the second uh, parameter is going to be the duration of the animation. And let's set that to three seconds, for instance. Okay. All right. So then we need to create this my animation. And the syntax for that is going to be at keyframes. This is the standard syntax. And then the name that we chose for the animation. So my animation. And then we open the brackets. And then we're going to specify here from which style to which style okay so for instance if we go from a background um, green to a background For example, let's see what happens when we load the page. So basically, it's it's not working. It's because um, Chrome won't work with the standard syntax. So some webs for some browsers, we need to add minus sign WebKit minus sign. Okay, I just remember that if you're developing for for many uh, browsers, then you you will need to uh, duplicates this property and make sure that you use all uh, the uh, different syntaxes. For Chrome, it's going to be WebKit for uh, other browsers as well. For, for Firefox, it's going to be Moz, M-O-Z, okay? Some other browsers that will work with the standard uh, syntax. Anyway, and also for the definition of the animation for Chrome, we need to add the minus sign WebKit as well, minus sign, okay. And now we can see that it's working. So if you load the page, you can see that we have an uh, animation. So we've got Facebook turning a background of green to a background of blue. All right, so let's create another animation. Let's, So this one is going to be uh, different. So we want now the uh, Facebook box to move uh, to the right, then move to the bottom, then move to the left, then go back to its original position, and at the same time change colors. Okay. So there is another way of defining the uh, animation. So we're going to use the same syntax as we did for the first animation to define it keyframes my animation okay but this time we're just gonna write the styles okay let's let's try the first style so we want to go from a background of red and a left value of zero pixels and the top of zero pixels okay but before we do that we need to set the um, position of facebook to um, relative so that we can uh, 
use the uh, top and left positions okay let's go for the next style is going to be I just duplicate these ones so next one we need a background of yellow and a left position of 200 let's keep the top to zero pixels because we're going to move from there to there okay and the next one let's go for a blue color a top a left of 200 pixels and top of 200 pixels as well okay and then we're gonna go now left so we're gonna have a left of zero and a top of 200 and then we need one final one to go back to our original position so we're gonna go for a background Okay, let's choose green here. And let's have so left zero and top zero as well. And now we can specify using percentages of the three seconds at which percentage of the three seconds each of this uh, of these states uh, happen. So at zero percent, so we want this to be, we want to, we want to be in this position, and then at twenty five percent of the three seconds, we want to be there, and then at fifty percent, we want to be there, and then at seventy five percent, we want to be there, and then the final one is going to be hundred percent. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's load the page and see what happens. So it is working. So we can see that the Facebook div is moving from the first style, which is this one, moving to that one, moving to that one, until the final one. Okay. And the reason why it turns back to blue is because the original or the styling, the original styling of the uh, blue box is uh, blue. Okay. All right, so that's uh, how uh, animations work. So again, first of all, we need an animation property. So just bear in mind that we might um, use the standard syntax without the WebKit. Some browsers will need WebKit, some others like Firefox will need uh, Moz. And then in that property we define the name of the animation that we'll create afterwards and the duration and then there is one way from two and another way we just uh, list all the styles and then we put the percentage of time uh, that we expect uh, the uh, element to take to reach that that state okay